This is an article I meant to talk about when it first came out, but didn't have the chance. But since then, so many people on YouTube are now talking about this story. Everybody's giving their views and opinions on the fact that a New York City man kills his mom after she asked him to get a job. That's why he killed his moms. Because she asked him to get a job. This almost sounds like a situation where the moms or the dad or family members was carrying this person. They're letting this person get by. They're enriching this person. This person is now so used to getting up in the morning, playing video games, or going out, hanging out in the street with his friends, and don't have to worry about responsibilities. Now, this is something we can somewhat blame the parents for because train up a child in the way they should go, and when they get old, they won't depart from it. So, as a child, did this young man have responsibilities around the house? Was he made to take out the trash or cut the grass? Was he made to clean up his room? What type of chores did this young man have while he was growing up? Or was it a situation where, that's my boy, I love my little boy, my little precious son, and they catered to him and gave him everything that he wanted, everything he asked for, and never had to work a day in his life to earn his keep. Now, I shared the story before when I wasn't even old enough to have working papers. I was happy to get my working papers, to be able to get a job. But prior to that, we had like one of the little push lawnmowers. Uh, it's got two wheels on it and it's got the blade that turns around. And I used to go and cut grass or shovel snow. Or I'd go to some gas station, mom and pop gas station and ask, do you have any work? Is there anything I can do? And the guy may have me pick up cigarette butts or trash around the, you know, the area. And he'd pay me for that. And I felt good having money in my pockets to spend on my candy. Right? So, and nobody told me to go out and work. Nobody had to tell me to get a job. So when I was old enough to get my working papers, I think at the time it was like 12 or 13 years old. And we'd go into the nurse's office in the school and, you know, she'd give us our working papers. And then they had a program back then called CETA. It was an after school program, like where we can work for like four hours. And at the end of the week, we had our, we got our little, our little paycheck and we felt good. And I think the paycheck at that time after taxes, we were making like $63 a week. But I felt good having that money in my pockets because I worked and I earned it. But now we're living in times where kids don't have to work because their parents give them everything, even expensive items. When I grew up, my parents didn't have that to give to us. We got an allowance. It was every month. And it might have been like $5. <laughs> And we were content with that. We looked forward to that and we were content with the allowance that our parents gave us. But in these times, these kids are walking around with $1,000 cell phones. There was a, um, a news article I read uh, a few years ago where a young man here locally beat up his mom because she refused to give him a cigarette and let him drive her car. So when she finally said no, he became enraged. He became upset and angry because she enabled him. She kept giving him, every time he asked, he'd give it to her. He spoiled her. And sadly, this is what it comes to. I did a video about the young white kid that was playing the video game and was cursing his moms out. 
And she's sitting there taking it. And she ended up submitting to him because he threatened to call Child Protective Service. But that child would grow up and, God forbid, end up taking his mom's life. Because there's no type of, um, what's the term I want to use? There's, there's no type of discipline with this boy. But I'm going to read, it's a short article, and I'll read it and post the link on the bottom. You guys can check it out for yourself. But train a child up in the way they should go. And most parents aren't doing that. They think they're being parents by giving the child everything they ask for. I talked in the past about these, these single parent females that dress their little boys up like Barbie dolls. They're no bigger than a minute and they're wearing Thames and expensive clothes, knowing that they're going to grow out of those clothes quickly. But she's working two or three jobs, working overtime, to spoil her child. And that child don't have to worry about anything while he's growing up. So when he becomes in his teens or uh, early 20s, he don't feel that he should have to work. He believes that the world owe him. And I believe that's why we see so many of these, these people out there marching for free stuff, black folk. That's why they voted for Joe Biden. And sadly in Georgia, Joe Biden stood up there and said at the last, at the last hour of that election, he stood up and says, if you vote for me the first week that I'm in, you'll get a $2,000 stimulus check. In other words, he's saying that if you don't vote for me, you don't get it. Well, how long has he been in office and he hadn't given you nothing? But he signed 50 executive orders and nothing in those orders to help Americans. As a matter of fact, he put Americans out of work. But that's not what this topic is about. The article says a woman who was found dead inside her New York City apartment was allegedly shot by her own son following a conversation about him needing to get a job, according to family members. The NYPD confirmed 22-year-old Musa Kamara fatally shot Fatimata Donson in, her, in the head in her 15th floor apartment at Lehman Village Houses. Kamara was arrested Tuesday just half a block from the East Harlem crime scene with the murder weapon still in his possession. His family members now calling for him to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. He should be put to death. Yaku Barasagari, the victim's brother, said he wants his nephew to rot in jail for the rest of his life. Now, look at his eyes. This is just a normal photo. But look at his eyes. He's spoiled. He's so used to his parents giving him, and he don't have to take accountability or responsibility for his own life. And because his mother said, get a job, get a job, it reminds me of Major Payne and how he was going through his withdrawals after he got out the war. And uh, it looked like they made it look like he was having um, a, crack, a crack withdrawal and he was like shivering and sweating and carrying on. And then he says the hardcore reality is I got to get a job. So he was going through withdrawals because of the fact that he had to get a job. You know, so he was used to the military taking care of him. So now he's in civilian life. And he's put in a position now where you have to take care of yourself. There's no free hot, you know, uh, cot, hot cot, whatever it was they used to say. A hot and a cot. It's not free anymore. Now you have to work, pay your rent, your mortgage, buy your food. There's no more hots and cots for you to get free. So 
his hardcore reality was that he's got to get a job and he was going through withdrawals. Well, work, man, is like a bad word for a lot of young people nowadays, even adults. This boy is like 22 years old. And he became so enraged, and there's got to be more to the story, but he became so enraged that he took his mom's out, shot her in the head because she told him that you got to get a job. It says, when asked why Kamara shot his own mother, Basangari said, because he's a lazy bastard. And my sister told him to get a job, threw him out of the house, and this was his reaction. So when she threw him out, he went and got a firearm. And I told you guys just in a, a few videos ago, that they talk about gun control, this boy went right out. If he didn't have it already, he went right out and got him a firearm and came back. That's how easy it is to get illegal guns. It says, Donson was a mother of eight and other family members were seen grieving the 39-year-old outside the apartment complex. Vasangari said the family came to New York City from Gambia and Sierra Leone back in the mid-90s to look for a better life, but Donson's life was tragically cut short by her own son. They came for the American dream, and this is what the American dream did to them, turned it straight into a nightmare. Their American dream turned into a nightmare because this boy comes to America start taking on the mentality of a lot of Americans, a lot of black Americans, and then he ended up taking his moms out. She always smiled and laughed, Basangari said, describing his younger sister as a lovely woman who was kind to everyone. Police said that Kamara was taken to a hospital for psychiatric, psychiatric evaluation following his arrest. He has been charged with murder, the NYPD confirmed early Wednesday, all right? So I'm going to put this article on the bottom. You guys can check it out for yourself. Spare the rod, spoil the child. In spite of what the system says, there's people, parents that's afraid to discipline their kids, to raise their kids right because the children are being conditioned and brainwashed into calling child protective service if they don't get their way. But like I mentioned before, that was never an issue with me. I took that chance because you can either take care of the situation in the house. Now, there's a difference between abuse and discipline. Now, you can take care of that situation yourself or you can allow the, 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 the police to get him, either to shoot him down in the street, he'll end up losing his life at the hands of another black male, or he end up incarcerated. But it's up to you, parents, how you raise your child. And don't always be ready to defend them in their wrong. Always ready to jump on another adult because your child was disrespectful or unruly. All right, so I'm going to put this article on the bottom. Feedback, tell me what you think. The crackling you hear in the background is a candle. It's a, a wood wick. It says it crackles as it burns. It's black cherry. This is, this is, I bought a few of these, and I'm going to get more. I love this candle. You can hear it crackling and whatnot. Sometimes I'll put the candle down, light two candles, and turn the light out, you know, while I'm surfing the internet or watching videos, you know, but it smells good and it crackles as it, as it burns. So anyway, feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.